Today's episode is sponsored by Super Clean. So as you can see here, we got our slew of XLs. Um, we really wanted to take a moment and thank Super Clean as we have a Cham's cart here that's been in his shop with metal grindings and all sorts of stuff, uh, being a little neglected looking. Uh, so they've actually stepped up and sent us some stuff to help the shop stay clean, our cart stay clean. You know, hopefully we'll stay clean, but you know, that really doesn't always guarantee a thing there. But uh, basically what we wanted to do is we're going to show you every level of XL that you can have. So we're gonna have our 1000 watt 48 volt Mac Daddy cart. We've got Charlie's cart here, which has got our upper 11 tooth gear on the factory 500 watt motor with a 45 lower. And then we have my cart here, which has got a 11 tooth upper and a 40 lower. So um, all of these are gonna be running TG solid tires and they're all brand new. So they have that same comparison there. Um, Ryan's running our casters. We're still running factory casters. And in this box right here is a brand new OEM right out of the box XL. So this one will be basically, it's charged. We're gonna yank it out of the box and we're gonna do a comparison of all three of these. That way you guys can see exactly what is what. So um, again, thank you for super clean. Uh, I was gonna actually clean the cart, but it says that we need to spray with water and not let it dry. Uh, it is biodegradable. However, we don't wanna spray this brand new box because most likely one of you guys is gonna win this thing here in a couple months. So uh, stay tuned and uh, watch the whole show. And good enough. Scratch and sniffs. That's the best part about these stickers. One shot. Wow, Mr. Professional. That's because we prepped it. We super clean. <laughs> super clean prepped that. Okay. I guess it's uh, time, huh? Wait for old Chamdilla. And uh, so, you can always just kick it off. Does he still need his warning? Does he? I don't. Does he need the warning to let him know that he can't go fast on it? Have you guys even read the warning? No, we've never read it. <laughs> this product moves when used. Exercise caution and common sense while riding. Well, the world doesn't have that in here. All right. This battery may, must be charged at least 12 hours. Do not overcharge. 240 pound maximum rider weight limit. Heavy riders may cause damage not covered by warranty. Not designed for stunt riding. Not designed for stunt uh, They never riding. met us. Well, well sorry, Ali. Out of sight, out of mind. I think well, now mine's already been removed. So is yours, I think. Yeah, we both I'm already. A baby. You yeah, know, and I've well, just. Here's it, another one on the back here too. Hold on. It is intended to be used on private property and on closed courses. Oh Do not man. Use in the sidewalk. And nobody got time for that. This product has no brake. Stopping is done through accelerator. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Wow, that was uneventful. Where's the super clean? Yeah, I wonder, does the super clean take this off? The super clean is definitely not. Definitely not gonna do that. There's that's nothing. That's we just know that's that. your cart now. Yeah, cart. we just know that it's the sad, rusty one. <laughs> yeah. So um alright, so um we're ready, I guess. Alright, see what's in the box. What do you say, Ryan? Hold on, let me just all this rust is just going on. Coming up. Wow, which way, which way are, you are you going? I'm going this way. <laughs> All right, then I'll follow you. <laughs> no coordination. <laughs> oh. wow. All right, what's in this box? It's a brand new 2021 Razor Crazy Card XL. Wow. Literally, oh, I don't right. think we've ever even seen one brand new in a box. That's the best we've ever owned is like every single person's clapped out secondhand, you know. Jerry rig piece. Well, this is pretty nice. Wow, I've never seen an XL flag before. That's cool. It's different. I like the color change. All right, let's get her out. Ooh. All right. Pieces. So we did charge it. Yep. That's pretty much it. Um, other than that, as you can see, showing the guts. Bone yep. stock. So they come with AGM batteries, three Stack. stacked together. So this makes oh. 36 volts. Interesting, they used to can't come in a bag. bag. Now the, the bag. newest ones, it looks like they just got straps sewn yeah. together, yep. which still is just as sufficient, honestly. 
So yeah. charge port cover, cover charge up, port, everything looks good here. Everything looks quality, same stuff as before. All this stuff tight. Oh, interesting, they have a little stop here. I don't think ours have that. That was what Ollie was talking about, is setting it, you put the bolt in it, and it sets it like a shift. Interesting. Yeah, so it like will drive around with the caster halfway up. Interesting. Cool. So that way, like. Ow! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Which way are you going? Which way are you going? Let's go that way. Okay. Oh, it's got the. It's so heavy because it doesn't have our battery in it. It's also got the. Just leave the plastics on. Yeah? Well, not the front. We'll it's got the on. little uh, standoffs here, the pegs. So I think we're going to be coming out with a new product for the XL. We've had a lot of questions about whether or not we sell a bracket that adapts this to use the factory casters. And uh, we are, he, he, we are coming out with that product. Not thank you. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. All right. I should leave the drift bar. Untouched, Corona, free. Oh, little bar condom. Yeah. Leave her on. If, 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 if. Yeah, we gotta leave it on, bro. Okay, so when we, when we give it away to somebody, it's gotta be corona -fied. We're gonna stack <laughs> them up. corona -fied. So we gotta take these out. You can't drive. Okay. Now look at the welds, how's man. The, how's the somebody tire? Somebody stack some dimes on this how's one. How's the tire? Is it got air in it? It does. Okay. Surprising. So you're saying this thing is but turnkey? is it flat spotted? Is it turnkey out of the box? It should not be flat spotted, they're brand new. Oh, the steering, the freaking bearings are done. So we gotta adjust the steering. But no, the something's wrong. Oh yeah, that, they're they're really tight. So at least we need they're to at least try to adjust out. them. Good time. So let's try to adjust them. So this is a common problem that we've seen almost across the board with all the carts. So they have little ball bearings that sit in a cup and that is the neck bearing. So if you experience like a, a wobble in your steering wheel, a clunk, when you pick it up, the neck's loose, all of those things are normally caused from the neck bearings. So if you see here on this cart, it's super smooth. So essentially you're gonna have a, a top nut and a lower nut that's built into this washer. Underneath there, there's gonna be the ball bearings and then ball bearings here. So right now this one is very, very notchy and stiff. Uh, so we're going to try to adjust it. We, we do have another video that shows exclusively how to adjust them. It's the same for the XL as it is for the small cart. Um, so Ryan's going to grab some pliers. It's super easy. It's just two nuts, one to hold and one to twist. And uh, hopefully these bearings are good. If not, you probably have to get bearings. Um, so we'll have to see you just when we get there. Right. Trying to get the perfect shot? Trying to get the perfect shot. Gotta make sure that uh, they're all in line here. No one needs to get a, a head start. Ryan doesn't need his VIN number anymore. So we'll just kind of go a recap here. So this is 45 tooth lo lower, which is the stock lower gear on the XL for most of the new carts. Some will have a 60 tooth, which is much larger. Uh, you immediately need to ditch that uh, if you're gonna go for a thousand watt. So a thousand watts got our 12 tooth upper. This is the new chain tensioner, which right here has, if you get in there. So right there actually is just like a, a rivet opposed to a, a shaft with a nut on it. If it's got the nut, you're gonna have to change it for this one because it will not clear the thousand watt motor. Now, this is our bracket, all of that bolted on here. So this has got a solid tire. And our 48 volt battery setup, plug and play. This works for a stock cart. This works for a thousand watt. It's all modular here. You got Andersons and then to the thousand watt controller. So essentially we're gonna, we're gonna run back over here and see what we got adjusted here. So he just took that one nut there. It's actually got this shaft that wedges it's in. It's a wedge anchor. It yeah. wedges into the neck here. So he's gonna hold this lower one like I said, we have a step-by-step -step really? video on the channel. Right now, I'm just going to unscrew it. Let's see what we got here. Get the neck to spin full unscrewed. And then... See how it feels. the top one from the bottom. 
I don't want to tilt the card all the way. Hold the neck from underneath. No, hold the neck from underneath. What's past this? Hold that. Okay, spin it. Feels pretty good, actually. Um, I think it was just too tight. Okay. I just didn't want to roll it back on those and put a scratch in the zone already. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. This we have to, you know, we really Be careful. just use the infer Yeah, which is never something we normally do. Oh, actually, I need the wheel spun. I All think the that the washer's around. already spinning. The top, that lower nut's already spinning on the washer. No, I, I'm aware of that, but the issue right now is that I need the wheel spun Right, the but I'm way. saying that this nut is already separated from the washer. We'll see. No, it should fall. I guess maybe it, it looked like it was twisted. It's because the thing was spinning. Still tight feeling? Um, well, something's oh. binding, like the wire. What in the hell? Yeah. Button tarnation! Let me see here. <laughs> oh, wow, something's like bound up pretty hard. Nick curses like a sailor. I do. But Today we're gonna to be going over the speed comparisons. Now we have a lot of different setups on the website um, for the stock XL Crazy Cart. Uh, it ranges from basically a battery upgrade to gearing upgrades to an actual motor upgrade. And today we have the standard Razor XL Crazy Cart, which has the stock 500 watt motor. It also has the stock three 12 volt batteries and which makes 36 volts. And this will be the comparison cart that we'll be testing today. This is how they come standard. We'll be comparing- That's my cart you're about to talk about. And a boy. So Charlie's cart right here. This cart actually has the 11 tooth upper gear for the stock 500 watt motor that we have on the website with the stock 45 tooth lower. It works with the factory chain. So this cart should have a top, higher top end. And we'll be comparing this cart as well with our 48 volt battery setup. This is a brand new 48 just in one of our older style Gen 1 boxes. And um, we'll be comparing this cart with the 48 volt upgrade and we'll be running the stock 36 volt setup within this cart as well. So you can see what this cart would do with just the upper gear on stock 36 volts. Now we got Mr. Super Clean over here. Mine's gonna be way faster. Yeah, I think he's gonna have the aerodynamics on everybody here. And the purple wheel to match his purple outfit. We sure oh, do love man. super clean. <laughs> so this cart right here actually has a newer setup that we're going to be releasing soon. So this is for the stock motor setup. This is for you guys who want the real top end out of the stock 500 watt motor. This has the 11 tooth upper gear that we offer that's been hardened. And we have the lower 40 tooth gear. And this comes with our own proprietary chain that fits the length of these two gears for the stock setup. And this cart also runs 48 volts. And... Yeah, this cart, we will show a speed comparison. This is our current version of the battery box. And we will also be showing you what it's like when you race the newest addition to the TG lineup, which is the 1000 watt motor upgrade. As I'm sure all of you seen, we've been dropping little bits here and there of these as we can make them. And uh, we'll be comparing the speed of this cart, which the stock 1000 watt motor setup comes with a 12 tooth upper gear and we run it on the factory 45 tooth lower gear it allows you to maintain the stock chain length stock tensioner all those good things and this cart of course you gotta pop that seat Ooh, i need some muscles boy so this thing right here is our newest version battery box with a 48 volt setup in it the newer tg controller that bolts right in the factory location and our little charge harness and everything else you need to make this setup plug and play. But yeah, we're going to be comparing all of these carts here and show you all the speed differences. And you guys can get an idea of what kind of setup you want to do with your cart when you're looking at our website so you understand, you know, what, you, what to expect. And that's it. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go.
ready? Yeah. Okay. Recording, guys. You're just recording from the back. Correct. Okay. Right. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> out of the hole because you're gearing yeah so you're and gearing this the air tire and i'm lighter and it's a brand new motor true so we've got a lot of comparisons here but that was really cool i'm gonna put mm -hmm. this one on the side of us from the right. start Ryan's filming. three two one go Okay, so that was the race. Still, we're on the one cut here. So, 1,000 watt, 48 volt. I shook him, bro. No out chance. of control, out of the hole. Now, Reed, on this stock XL, it's a brand new one, 36 volt. So, that really pulled me and Charlie out of the hole. Now, we're both on 48 volt, but we also have gears. So, we know, obviously, just like a mountain bike, when you pedal on something and it's a super high gear, it's hard to pedal. But once you get going, it, it starts moving. So me and Charlie were kind of dead even coming out of the hole. And then I started to leave him. And then when we got that side shot, I was probably three carts ahead of him. Um, now where this 45, you know, 45 and the 11 upper shines is cause you still got a little bit of mid range and it still like rides around, but you got some top speed. Now what really is gonna shine is when the 40 tooth and the thousand watt gets together now we haven't really done that yet but that's really where it's going to be just to the moon oh yeah we're going to do 27 miles per hour it's gonna yeah be so it's probably not really necessary but again what is necessary it's all for fun exactly. um so now we're going to do another probably another race with some few other angles of the camera and then what we also want to do is take my 48 volt and put it directly into this stock xl with no gear no nothing because charlie's cart down there again has the 11 upper and a 40 48 volt battery uh stock 45 lower yeah so now we'll just be comparing one cart versus another cart we won't be doing all four of them we'll just be doing small comparisons with the battery swaps so you can see what the gearing does differently well it sounds we like charlie got good watt xl is going to crush everything yeah like out of the hole i i was actually blown away this thing on quick <laughs> shot all right that pops. That pops. That pops. yeah it just looks ridiculous job. Reed, camera. Which side is it? Right, top everyone so now what we're gonna do here is we got uh the stock xl crazy cart and my 48 volt cart with the 11 tooth upper we're going to swap batteries so basically your first initial upgrade you can do get a brand new xl crazy cart is basically we're gonna gut the 36 volt stock lead acid batteries so we've got them here stacked we're gonna have to unloosen these here I'm going to cut this factory zip tie right about there. Don't cut your wire. 
So this is basically freeing up the battery jumper harness here. Unplug this with ease. Now we're gonna undo this. As you can tell, this is a brand new cart, unmolested by Taxi Garage. But the first thing you do, go online to our website, 48 volt XL Crazy Cart Battery Upgrade. Send it, drop it right at your door. Factory bracket off. Here we go. Plug. You gonna be able to pick that up? Let's see. Oh, ugga, ugga. Yeah, you can tell this thing's got some, some weight to it. So can you curl is, it? Oh, I can curl it. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh, hi, neighbor. Hello, yeah, neighbor. <laughs> the neighbor nice, got the factory uh, Velcros there. So now what we're gonna do is, like I mentioned before, basically we're downgrading my cart. So making this stock 36 volt again, um, but it will have the initial, our cheapest upgrade you can do is buy our 11 tooth upper gear that works on the factory 500 watt crazy cart motor. So once we get these doohickeys out of here, oh, one fell down there, that's fine. Well, and oh, you can you also do that. <laughs> yank, it's called yank the thing. I yank the thing. We constantly do that. swap batteries. You don't. You don't want to yank that. <laughs> if you want to unplug this a jumper harness that comes with all the batteries. So yeah, you'll just unplug that, and now we're back to a stock controller. Go ahead, Charlie. Continue. And now, um, watch me levitate this. All right, so now basically this card is back to factory stock. Uh, don't mind all these the Velcro here right now. You need to slide That's it fine. in its little hole. It's, They're not there, you go. there we go. All right, factory controller, wiring, all that. It is plug and play. Make sure the light still works. On. That's good. So. What about your strap? Uh, what, these straps? The strap that holds the battery down. Where'd that go? You threw it over there on the side. <laughs> I'm just too antsy to send it. So we're just gonna do one of these numbers real quick. No, we just got another one. Start it up. You see the other one back there? No, nope, the other one actually fell back down here. I think they're actually behind the batteries. Just, I'm just too excited. Oh, it's still plugged in. Watch out, you're gonna yank all the wires. <laughs> and you threw the other one back I love it. There it's we go. Uh, all right. Like no need to cut or edit Well, anything. What we really want to actually preference here is that Charlie is the media guy, the website, the customer service. He does all of it. Uh, and, you know, we want to include him, make sure he knows exactly what's going on. That anyone can do it. And anyone can do it, exactly. So we definitely don't want to be yanking wires like that, but obviously it held up. And uh, we're gonna continue on. This one's definitely fighting me a little bit here. It's cranky, as Chammy says. Just gonna get well, at least you know the first rule of thumb: righty tighty, lefty loosey. Righty tighty. Except the 500 watt motor for your upper gear that we're about to test here with the stock batteries. That is reverse thread. All right, these are strapped down yeah. for the most part because I'm not gonna be keeping this setup on my cart. Uh, everything else looks good. Yeah. Pop it down. Your wiring is stuck in the seat. <sighs> yeah. And then you wanna tuck these down out of the way yeah. there. Yeah. Best is just get rid of these. <laughs> there we go. All right. Where, where, where. You <laughs> can't find right. it, just slam oh it. Oh my god. Now, my battery is getting donated to the brand new stock cart. Um, jumper harness. What'd you do with it? That's, yeah. the, that's the one you yanked. That's the one I yanked the thing. Nice Anderson connectors. Click. Off. Beautiful. Power. Back Where's the bracket? This is nice. TG batteries got the nice guide for it. Oh, we got the air show coming into town. What is it? 
Blue Angels. The Blue Angels. There Blue we go. Angels. We're gonna yeah. have to go out there to the yeah, ride out to the there. beach tomorrow. All right. Get this little baby started. So theoretically, what should happen now is we need two people to ride these things. Two people to ride, and we're gonna compare. 48 volt stock gear setup, That's 45 stock, lower. That is a 100% stock XL. You just put a 48 volt in. Yep. And right. then this and would be a stock cart. The and only mod that it has is the upper gear. The TG upper gear. So this is the 11 tooth upper. It's the only thing done to this. And it's got a brand new solid tire on it with grip strips. 36 volt, 48 volt. So, um,. Let's do it. You can ride, and uh, Charlie will ride the stock one here. Let's see. Let's you go. guys are about the same weight. How much do you weigh? 145. He's about 130. So. Okay, 145. Yep. <laughs> okay. Should be interesting. So. Um, yeah, let's do it right here. Yeah, we'll just oh, go it's straight to it. Already immediately back. <laughs> so that motor likes to make the Every noise. The flyby, so you see the flyby. That's fine. So this, so this noise right here you're hearing is when you overvolt the motor. Some of the motors with actually like the magnets will make this whining noise. It's perfectly normal. We're overvolting the motor. That's really just why you need to upgrade to the thousand watt. But this will last for a long time. Overvolting it, we barely have any issues with that. What do I want to say is that when he's not being filmed, he can change the battery no problem. Yeah, look at how nice he does. Flawless when not having the pressure. I did that on purpose. <laughs> yeah, we like some movie theatrics. Come on. Makes it way more enjoyable. Three, two, one, go. All right, so tell us what just happened. Recap what just happened. Just by putting the Taxi Garage 48 volt upgrade on the XL Crazy Cart, basically, as you can see in the video that we're gonna cut to. Count it down. Jeezy, count it down. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> I just spanked Ryan. I know he just came off his 1,000 watt, 48 volt setup, but just by simply putting a battery on your XL Crazy Cart, you're gonna have a lot more fun. Um, Ryan, he did just, you know, do this simple swap of the 11 tooth upper. Definitely faster than stock, um, you know, for those saving up, but if you can buy it, buy it now, 48 volt taxi garage setup. Clearly you saw how easy it was. Make sure you unconnect and connect everything. Talking about the battery wiring harnesses. Plug and play, put it in, send it. Look at that plane. And now, uh, and how, how'd, the, uh, how'd the 36 volt with 11 feel? It has more top end. You lose a little bit of down low, but it's not much. But, um, you know, I mean, it's, it's a cost-effective way to get more top speed. Yeah. You know, if you want a little more thrill for a really, you know, super cheap, fair price, and it's super easy to do yourself, I mean, it's definitely worth it. Definitely one of our best, you know, initial sellers. Bang for everyone that. that gets the stock crazy cart, they put the 11 tooth upper on it, they get comfortable, then when they're ready, mm -hmm. then they do the 48 volt. So the, clearly the 48 volt works with both. That's what kind of my daily setup was, is a 48 volt with 11 tooth upper so I can send it. Yeah, very modular. Right. But that's one thing we really focus on is making everything modular. So everything except this 11 tooth, if you plan on buying the 1000 watt motor, is modular. Um, so obviously that it only works on that 500 watt. The 1000 watt motor upgrade comes with a 12 tooth, so you don't need that 11 tooth anymore. So you could put it on there and then you maybe put it on your wife's card or whatever you wanna do, but that's, uh, Pretty much the recap there. I don't know. Do we need to do any other tests? Pretty much done, right? Yeah. Now what are we gonna run? We're gonna run the 48 volt 
11 tooth upper versus 48 booth, 11 tooth upper and 40 tooth lower. Just those two, yeah, right? We'll run those okay. comparison. Alrighty. We out here working. Wow, that's how ridiculous that hat was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so now we are going to race Charlie's 48 volt, 11 upper, 45 tooth lower with a solid tire. First mine, which is an 11 and a 40 on 48 volt. So this one also is another product that we haven't really talked about in the video, but it's kind of more- We're gonna send it! So I, I actually think that that's uh, Ryan's landlord here too. So uh, she's gonna love all this. But basically we have the motor support plate. So that actually supports the back of the motor because if you have a problem with throwing the chain, uh, these plates that go basically bolts to the top of the neck here, I'm gonna try to see if you can see this uh, support plate. So it's up in here, right there, you can see it. So it, it keeps the motor from torquing. So when you put 48 volt through it, now we're gonna increase the power of the motor and the output. So this keeps it from torquing down and a lot of people end up with the, the motor slowly over time does that. If you jump it, do all sorts of stuff, just inertia and the weight of the chain pulling on the motor shaft will make it bend. So this straightens it back out and holds it straight. So this is pretty much a must to have on the 500 watt stock motor. Now our thousand watt do not need it because the way the motor is plate and all of that is supported, but it, uh, it's a must pretty much across the board to have the motor plate for the 500 watt stock motor on the cart. So uh, anyway, enough babbling, now we're gonna race. So basically we've been kind of getting a lot of shots of forward and back because these carts have such a big gap. Now these are so close to each other that really he's gonna pull me a little bit out of the hole. However, I'm top speed gonna be faster him because I had the lower and the upper. He just has the upper. Uh, so it's just a, a little bit more top speed comparison here, uh, and uh, we'll send it for you. So uh, here you go. All right, so we got Nick on 48 with the 11 tooth upper and the 40 tooth lower, and Charlie on the 48 volt and 11 tooth upper and 45 stock tooth lower. So I'm going to be the follow cart, and let's see who gets the gap. Are you filming? Did you have gapple sauce? Oh, no, I'm about no. to feed you the gapple sauce, kid. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. <laughs> That's me in the GoPro recording. That's me. Yeah, that's me. So, all right. So Let me, um, you should catch me in the second half of this. Uh, it's probably going to be out of the hole, pretty close this to the eighth same. Mile. All right. Three, two, one, go. filming? Did you have gapple sauce? Oh no. I'm about no. to feed you the gapple sauce, kid. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Because I weigh a little bit more than him, 
Um, yeah, I, I weigh a little bit more than him. Um, maybe my motor is just a little bit stronger. Uh, you know, there's a lot of variances with these things that, you know, plus or minus a little bit. Um, but yeah, so like that's, that's a pretty good comparison right there is that I just pulled him overall. Um, now his battery's a little bit older than mine, but these lithiums really shouldn't be any type of drain like that. Uh, but I bet it's probably just the motor difference a little bit. Um, and then now, uh, yeah. Miles for miles, bro. So yeah. Thanks for tuning in today with us at Taxi Garage and stay tuned because we're going to be raffling off this Crazy Card XL. We're going to be doing some sick mods to it and we'll be showcasing that and possibly one of you guys out there could win it. Charlie, Nick, anything else? I just say you guys need to go send it. That's really what this is all about. So yeah. uh, just make sure you guys like, subscribe, follow all of our social media. We really do appreciate all you guys giving us uh, your time which allows us to do things with our time. Um, so basically, yeah, make sure you stay tuned. We are gonna take this brand new XL, develop a few parts for it, and then we're going to uh, get all the sauce from TG, pour it all over it, and then uh, raffle it away. But uh, you're gonna have to be subscribed to our YouTube, you're gonna have to be following our Instagram, and then we're gonna probably, we'll do a little post explaining what you gotta do. But it'll be basically about a $2,000 value, if not more, depending on really where we go with it. Uh, but that is coming here in the mid-summer of 2021. Stay tuned. We're going to keep it safe and it's home for now. And now, back in the box she goes. I wonder what color we should do. Yeah, maybe we should have some people chime yeah. in. I think we should um, maybe comment you guys below. comment. Yeah. Comment below. Let us know what color you think we should do uh, on this XL. Because I'm going to definitely put my... We're down to do color combinations too. You know, if you've got a scheme that you think would look sick, put it in the comments below. Thank you. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it.